All right, let's do part three. So um, I'm gonna, I, let's do some background image and I'm also gonna introduce you to Unsplash. So if you go to unsplash.com, they have Creative Commons images, meaning that you can use their images for anything. Um, you don't even technically have to give credit to the, um, to the photographer, although I do highly recommend it. And so let's think about some ways that we could add that without um, you know, losing integrity to our design. So I'm feeling kind of, let's see, I don't know, maybe experimental. What do you think would be in here? Okay, these look fun. All right, so I'm gonna find a background. Oh, I like that, um, a background image for my the header of my site. And I'm not even gonna mess around. I'm just gonna grab this one by Dustin Humes. Maybe I'll just follow him. Oh, I have to log in, okay. Um, I don't think it makes you log in if you're just downloading. Um, okay, let me get back there, experimental. I think it just made me log in because I wanted to save his, his um, account. Okay, so there's a little download button. You click on it, it downloads a file, that's it. So one thing about these and about all the files probably that you'll be working with is definitely all the ones you'll be working with. You wanna make them as small as possible. So this one right now is 1.7 megabytes. Um, I mean, there's, it depends on the project um, and how, how small you want your site to be, but generally like definitely under a megabyte for kind of any site um, is what you want to go for. And um, even smaller, like the smaller, the better. So it just kind of depends on if you, you know, how, how good you can get it to look. So I have a couple of cool tools for you. So if you don't have Adobe, um, Creative Suite, you can actually change the size preview. Um, so here's preview, let's see, tools, adjust size. So let's see what we have now. Generally, they're pretty big. So right now we have um, 102,000 pixels wide. We definitely don't need that. So, um, but we do want 72 DPI resolution. So I'm gonna keep that the same. For the pixel width, um, I generally say 1600 works pretty good. Um, and then it'll kind of tell you off the bat what that size difference will be. It's still calculating. Um, but yeah, 1600, pretty good for a full width image. Um, you can go a little bigger if you really want some pizzazz. Okay, so it says it's 142K now. And that's because it's a, I mean, it's got a lot of gradients, but it is probably a fairly simple um, image to resize. So I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna save it. Um, I'm gonna close out and see, it's nice they have his name in the, um, the name of the file. Um, come on, preview. All right, I'm just gonna quit. It's probably still um, resizing it. Okay, here we go. So now I have 100, and in the finder it says it's 107, but there's um, even a better way to shrink it. Now that I realize this image is so small, I may have gone for 2400. So let me introduce you to tinypng.com. Tinypng um, shrinks images on the bit level um, it's so it's lossless compression versus lossy compression, which is what you get in Photoshop. Um, so let's what well, all you have to do is drag the image over. So let's see, we've got 107 now. Let's see how much smaller we can get it. Um, down to 40k, so pretty crazy. So you just drag it up here, um, it shrinks it down, and then you can download it if you have multiple files. It'll download, there's this download all button and it'll give you a zip. I think this will just download the PNG. Let's just do the zip because usually you're gonna do more than one. Um, and with a free account, you can you can do as much as 20 images a day, I believe. Um, okay, so now if I open this up in my finder, there's my image, I'm gonna double click on it. Um, and there's that Dustin Humes Unsplash 40K. Um, so I'm going to put it in my folder, um, let's see, DES 341, 
there's my home page, images. I want to make a subdirectory because I might have a bunch of, I call them hero images or banner images. So I'm going to make a new folder right in here. So I just right click and say new. You can also say file, new folder. And I'm going to say banners. So inside images, now I have a banners folder. And I'm going to drag that over. And I think before I do any um, saving in GitHub desktop, I'm going to just change the name a little bit. Um, I kind of, so I don't want this space. You never want a space in an image file because it could really mess you up um, when you push things. So um, actually it, no spaces in anything, folders, any files, any folders, always just like one full um, name. And I might, I don't know, I could get rid of the, um, the ID of the photo, but maybe I'll just keep it in there. I'm going to copy this now so I don't have to like type all that out and do um, typos. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And then we want, um, in our CSS, we want to add a banner. And so let's look at our index.html. We've got this header here. So the header, all, all it has right now is an H1. I want that whole header box to have this background image. So before I do that first, I'm going to say um, header. I'm going to give it its own separate style. Um, and you see here how we've got like in the default, there's like main and header h1 and nav div, and they've got a width and margin. If I added it here, it would the style would be applied to all three of these items. So I want just a separate header style. And then just so we can see what the header looks like, I'm going to say border one pixel solid um, black. And then let's just take a look at, oops, I, that is a typo right there. And I need a semicolon. Okay, save that. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so there's that box. Um, and I want to replace that, uh, like add to that area by adding a background color. I'll just leave the border there for now. And I'm going to say, um, back. sorry, background image. So background dash image colon. And then here's how you do um, a, a, a background image. You say URL parentheses. And um, right now, if I look in my, directory, I'm actually inside a, a folder. I need to get out of that folder. So I'm back in the main directory. And then I want to go in to images.html and then into banners. So the way you get out of a folder. So, you know, like if I was just an index, I could just say images um, slash banners, right? Um, and then I want to put a quote around these. Okay. So if I did this, it would assume that this folder images was inside this CSS folder because that's where we are. We're in style.css. So that won't work. Let's just try it and verify. Um, okay, no image. And if I do um, an inspect, so I right click and I choose inspect in Chrome, um, it's going to tell me if I click on header, it'll probably tell me that this image, it's not gonna like come up with anything. If I click on it, it just doesn't actually, I guess it just doesn't show up. Um, okay, so let's fix that. So I wanna get out of the, of the CSS folder first. And the way I do that is I say dot dot slash. And that's basically like go up one, go up one, get to the main directory and then find the images directory. So let's save that and see what we got now. Okay, cool. So there's our home page. Now it's just kind of like taking up whatever space that it it um, has, and I want to change that. So I want to do a little more formatting. I want to say background dash size, and generally the best one to use for almost any circumstance is cover. There are a few other options, but cover is a good one. So let's look at what that looks like. Um, not a whole lot of buttons. So now let's try increasing the height of the header. And first, I want to see if there's one, if there's a height assigned. So if I click on header and then I scroll around, I see there's padding, um, but there's not really like any height associated. 
it's just sort of a default height. So let's add a height. So I'm going to say um, just height, because it's the height of the header, not the height of the background image. Um, a height of what? We'll just do 600 pixels to take a look at it. And then, so now I have, let's close this. So now I have a really big, I mean, it's a 13 inch monitor, but now I have like a really big header. So maybe like, I'll just do 300. And then, um, yeah, so it's kind of still kind of crazy, but um, there is my 300 pixel header. And then what if the position of this image is weird? Um, like what if the main part of the image um, is kind of getting hidden? You can actually position it. So there's a background position and you can um, give it an X and a Y. So um, an easy thing is just to say center, center, and that will center it horizontally and vertically. You can also say um, 50%, 50%, and that way, so this is the middle, and then let's say I want it to be a little bit, um, what, I can't remember, higher or lower, so I'll have to, um, whoops, where are we? We're in the wrong app. So I could say, the X is like 20% from the top, or 20, so X is um, left and right, so 20% from the left, and then we could do, we'll just try like 10%, see what that looks like. So it's just going to like adjust the image around, um, you can also do negative, I think, negative. Yeah, so see how it's it's tiling the image and because I've done negative this is like 10% of the the space so it's kind of like showing the the next tile and if you don't want it to tile um, there's another one called background repeat and then you can say no repeat and then if we just look at this then it won't have um, the tiling happening but it also looks terrible so I'm going to get rid negative 10. This does come in handy in some circumstances though. So I'm going to keep it at 50, 50. Um, and my, I'm just going to like turn that down a little bit to 260. Okay. Um, all right. That is like a basic background image. I'm going to stop the video and then maybe talk about how do I get this um, placed differently. Um, okay. Thanks.